Yo, welcome back to episode 12 of Starfield, your boy Augie, Reality Comics Gaming. We are about to take on another quest in the vast universe of Starfield. We just finished the Red Mile in the previous episode. We have earned our stripes, and as you can see from that thumbnail, we've also earned our uh, Mantis suit. But not just any Mantis suit, we earned the modded Boba Fett looking Mantis suit. So, uh, yeah, we stopped at the beach, hung out for a little bit, kind of relaxed, you know, catch your breath, been busy for a while, but now it's time to get back to it. Now, real quick, just my apologies on the previous, uh, video, episode 11, the audio just died out and I wasn't aware that it was dead by the time I finished recording. It only had about 30 minutes of the audio recorded, so that's why half of the mission is just gameplay only and no commentary. So I'll try to do better. I'll try to keep an eye on these levels, make sure everything's working correctly. Um, but let's take a look at our mission log and let's see where we can go. Just um, just on top of the game, Family Reunion. It seems it's a bugged, um, it's bugged because if you give them the option of the jump drive to the grav drive, and they go to find another planet to settle in, they are no longer in the Paradiso planetary orbit, and so you cannot go back to Abe and talk to him. I'll look to see where they have relocated on Red if somebody has found them yet, but as of right now, there is no um, information on where they relocated to, so you cannot complete return to Abe, which kind of sucks. I want to kind of close this and get it out the way, but uh, let's, let's go back and let's go, let's go, uh, finish some work for the Free Star Collective. Or maybe, no, let's, let's, not, let's go talk to Sarah and let's go into the eye and do this mission. Vladimir. I'm here to satisfy your needs. I hope your stay is a pleasant one. Oh, that sounded kind of... Pause. <laughs> I'm here to satisfy your needs. Whoa. Whoa. My boy, chill. We're outside. <laughs> what is inside this store? Let's take a look what's inside here. Do some uh, last minute exploration on this planet before we move on. All right, got some food. All right, let's get some food in our system. What's your name be? Hello, hello. Welcome to Chunks. If this is your first time dining with us at this location, you'll find our cuisine and service is a step above what you're used to. Please, don't hesitate to ask if there's anything I can do to make your Chunks experience as enjoyable as possible. Uh, let's see. I used to work at a Chunks in Neon before my transfer was approved, and while I much prefer working here, I can say that it's not a lot different. It looks a lot nicer, the food is supposedly higher quality, and we treat the customers with greater care, but that's really about it. Mmm. Sure. Prefer treatment. Alright, let's see, what you got? I already got some wine, plus, alright, let's just grab this bottle. Ah, oh, they literally sell cubes of food. Let's grab some cake, some cheese steak. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Watch, someone's gonna look at these things and then try to make them in real life. A matter of fact, they should just come out with a recipe book for some of the food that they, because they're all still like normal food. It's just slightly appendicized with some different, um, Thanks for visiting Chunks. Like shapes and shit, but it's still the same potatoes and everything else. They should come out the cookbook. That'd be kind of dope. I 
Also, we did recolor our ship. So now the Razor Leaf has a uh, Slave 1 inspired paint job. So let me know what you think of the paint job. The green could be a little darker now that I see it in real lighting. So we'll try to fix that in a little bit. But outside of that, I think I like I like the ship. It's a nice looking ship. The Razor Leaf has been pretty freaking dominant in, in fights. And we've added four cannons to it. So we can alternate or combine those four cannons into one firing burst. So damage wise, I think we'll be dealing some damage now. Let me do some legit damage in this game. I wish the walk animation, the run animation, was a little bit faster. Wait for my shift to be over. I can relax like a guest. But there it is. Slave one. I wish I, I'm a, I will look to see if I can get a mod to make uh, Vasco's colors mimic that of the Hi. Boba Fett style Please color pattern. I attempted an informal greeting. But let's get back in the ship. And let's move on to the next part of the mission. All right, I, I love these. I found Starfield is the most enjoyable when you're in these slow, quieter moments. When you're really just playing that RPG of somebody in space traveling, I really find these little quieter moments to really hit harder. People are trying to find action, but I think in the quieter moments is where Starfield sometimes shines the most. Even in these um, takeoff and flying sequences where you don't control anything, it's just a cutscene, but it's still it's still cool to look at every time. And if you're really trying to get that RPG feel out of it, I fucks with it. All right. Real quick, so I was telling you about the gun. So we got left trigger, got these. Right trigger, got these. But if you're in a battle and trying to take them out, you need those. And you're shooting four. Four times. And then after that, if you want to add a missile to it, Look at the size of that payload. Ain't nobody touching us. <laughs> so yeah, let's get out of here. Let's make our way to Alpha Centauri. I hate these planetary scan checkpoints because sometimes they're just passing through and they still make you have to land on certain um, on certain, uh, well not land but check in basically at certain planets. It should be when you want to land that you get scanned. Now, hang on, do I need Sarah for this? Sarah has asked me to go to the eye of star system, star station, constellation owns orbiting Jameson. I need to meet with Vladimir. All right, so we don't need Sarah for this technically. So let's, let's, re, let's reconnect some former members of constellation by taking uh, Cole with us. All right, let's slow down our speed. Let's get close enough within that 500 meter mark and we can dock. And three, two, one. Right, let's go ahead and board. All right. 
There's our man Vladimir. Greetings, Captain. All right, Vasco, you came. Don't mind if I take this off your hands. Let's take a look around. Let's see. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Now, they never explain exactly how gravity, at least how your feet are stationary in these areas work. I haven't gotten an explanation from this game about that. And it looks like we can't go this way. But it would be nice. Oh, that is a fucking dope view. Okay. This makes you feel like you are actually in space. There's the little things, man. The little things in this game that really hits. Watching a a, sh a spaceship fly through, looking down and looking at a planet below you, knowing you're in orbit, low orbit about above it. This is all the shit that you want in a game like this, man. This is the things you never got to do in Mass Effect, really. And I know every game is different due due to just you know constraints and limitations. But if I wanted to play a space game, this is right here, this right here is hitting all the all the feels for it, man. I don't really care about all the negative hype, negative shit they talk about Starfield. This game is legit actually really fun. Nope, can't open that door. Let's grab this health pack. It can never have enough health packs. What we got in here, huh? Anything of use? A circuit board. Any suits? We we'll definitely need that. A tape measure. Now nah, I think we're good. We need a book though. Oliver Twist. Bad people, bad knock knock. Who's there? Broken sword, broken sword. Who? Oh, never mind. It's pointless. Ha! <laughs> Because it's a broken sword. Love it. Love it. Alright, and that is a dead end. So let's go back. Let's go talk to Vladimir. I think we've explored everything we can. And... Cool little detail, which I love. If you look out, there is the razor leaf docked into this particular uh, station. So am I walking sideways or is the razor leaf uh, parked perpendicular? They, they gotta explain how gravity and how these systems are using gravity to orient the, the player because this shit is actually kind of cool. Just wish there was more explanation uh, I'll take that Vlad uh, it's kind of funny he's watching us steal essentially from him and he's just like yeah yeah You're just getting robbed don't mind me What is this? Eggs. Okay. Personal groomer. Okay. Don't need it. What we got in here? Credits. Gear. Love it. Love it. The kleptomaniac's favorite game. Everything gets grabbed. Alright, nothing here. What's behind this door? What we got? What we got? Nothing, nothing, nothing? Alright. Nothing it is. What about this door? Ah, uh, the bathrooms. Cool. Alright. I think we have touched... Nope. Apparently not, because there is a... Is there anything in here we can grab? Bed. Let's open this. Open that. Open that. Nothing important. Alright, let's... Yeah, what's on this side? Ok. 
Okay. Man, be getting that iron in. Boy, here has a magazine. Finally. Okay, here we go. Permanently increases carrying capacity by five kilos. I mean, at this point, it doesn't really even help me, but we'll take it. Got some ammo. Definitely helps. Come in handy when uh, the time comes. Solar Frontier board game. Yes, the kids need games to play. Okay. Alright. Nothing I really want. Go ahead and close all these. Kind of rude to leave someone's refrigerator door open like that. <laughs> Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Nothing really... This is trade. I don't really need to be carrying around trade. All right, cool. All right, all right, all right. We're done. We're done. We're done. Let's go follow the quest. We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Former Crimson Fleet. An old Jacobones would be the term for it, back in my day. Left that life behind me. Even before I signed up with Constellation, I was retired. <laughs> Gotta pass the hours on the star station somehow. And the iron's always been good to me. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. That one's all on me. The eye is the nickname for the star station. Think of it as one big telescope. Probably would have just gotten annoyed at being bothered. I'll catch a smile at our next big revelation. You know there's more to come. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia... It's been a while. Hate to pull the worried old man back on you, but... I'm an old man, and I'm worried. Another rook in Constellation who's making a name for herself. Likes to be on her own. I can relate, so I try to look out for her more than most. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. That's why I missed your little welcome party. Got caught up plotting all the data the eye can give us. Wouldn't mind the helper's hand, though. Could speed the process along. Up-to-date planetary scans would help filter all the data I have to sift through. Maybe help to find the anomalous bits. And Constellation can slide a credit or two your way. All part of the mission of charting the stars, right? Then we're hand in hand in agreement. 
Now, get out there and burn some helium. Let's deal. All right. Let's see how much. A thousand? All right, cool. Hey, man, if you want it. All right. Let's deal. All right, so if I want to sell, I need to go and map some more stuff. Okay. Usually doesn't. I'm overdrawn from Lady Luck three times over. It's a long tail to tip your ear on. But if you ever wanted to visit, I have a house out there in the Starfield. Thought I was going to see life's eclipse from there, but constellation swept me away. Haven't been there since we started on the eye. If you do go there, turn the lights off when you leave, okay? All right, okay, so we can either go visit Vladimir's house or we can go find these spacers. Let's take a look. So we got three places to go. And we got deputized side quest for faction. Miscellaneous family is still uncompleted. Activities. Okay, so activities are just things you have to do. Okay. So, as you walk around and you hear things, you get to pick up these things and these things are put in your activities. Because they're, they're, they're mission, I think they're like side quests, but not fully. And then you have your main uh, faction quest and you have your main line quest. Okay, so let's do a main line quest. Let's go find uh andresia and see where exactly she's located so we'll do a little bit more of these main quest lines for a little bit and then we'll try to get some of those activities done to just see where they lead Captain to James, it is pleasant to see you all right Let's get ready to Starfield. All right, hop in our seat. Undock. All right, let's, ooh, so we gotta pick where to go. She's in one of two locations. She's either here or she's here. Man, all right. I'm gonna go right. I'm gonna go to the right. I think she might be on the right. I might be at this planet. So let's make a trip and see if she's, uh, if we were right. Ah, shit. We got a battle going on. So here we go. Let's test out our new, uh... Oh, my God. Damn. Damn. Oh, y'all understand. This is not even a contest. Ah, uh, we can't grab any more because our ship is full. All right. Let's see. Let's see. We got one more person we got to take out. Let's go ahead and take out their engines.
Any way we can repay you? Yeah, money. Hmm. Let's see. You could use some free credits. I'll take the salvage if you don't mind. Uh. All right, let's go. There's all these things that we can't grab because our hall is too full. And I don't, I don't like why and how that is. I feel like we should have unlimited, look at all the space we have on this ship. How do we have our hall is full some bullshit man because I'm pretty sure there's some like really unique things here that we're probably not going to get a chance to grab look at that titanium let's see let's see what we got let's look at our inventory and let's see what's inside our ship that is preventing us from let's sort by mass all right maybe, maybe I don't need I don't need four hockey tables but I also cannot trade that with anyone all right so it looks like we're just kind of SOL there. We might try to create some uh, chances of reducing our weight in a little bit, but let's go look for this, uh, find the artifact. I thought I was looking for homegirl. Civilian outpost. All right, let's go over here. Let's just follow the quest line through. Not sure why we, we came straight here for an artifact or trying to find a homegirl, but I guess she's looking for an artifact too, so we might run into her. All right, let's go ahead and exit the ship. Um Good day, Captain. I have no objections. Alright, Vasco, let's go. Let's go for a little exploration. Make sure we got our guns. Yep. Seems to be some sort of fight going on up here. Now the question is, are these people hostile? That's the real question. So, if he shoots, there we go. Fuck it, he ain't got time to even find out. You have picked up too much matter and become over encumbered. All right, all right. All right, all right. Let's let's figure out where what exactly is going on here. Cuz we got these spacers. go what the fuck all 
All right, let's go. Let's go a little shock and awe. All right. Got to put in that work. We got another turret up here. Let's take that down. Got one more at the top. Go ahead and heal. Alright, looks like we've dealt with everybody in the vicinity. Let's take a look around and see what they got. What you got? Ammo, frags, that's good. Credit, ammo, always good. Not sure what the fuck these big ass monsters are, but I'm glad that was not part of the fight, because that would have been a long, a long engagement. Alright, let's head up these stairs. Just a regular basic ass fucking suit. Don't need that. We need that ammo though. Oh, we got a spacer coming up. Hmm. Not sure why you try to do that. That was that was, that was a dumbass idea, bro. But we'll take shit off of you though. You ain't gonna need it. Bunch of idiots. Alright. What we got? Let's take a look at this terminal. Uh, control system status. Nothing. Okay, well. That's as useful as... Inferno Mind. Okay. Alright, Vasco. Stay hot, baby. Stay hot. It's about to get a little, uh... What? Helium 3 extraction site can't open because I'm not a master? Locked? So what? I'm. I'm no, nah, we gotta find another way in. God dang it. Okay. So we can go through that way. We got a jetpack. Let's see if we can go through the old fashioned way. Ah, oh, shit. How the fuck did you teleport? What are you, Roach? Vasco's doing his best impression of Roach, apparently. Alright, and we got some... Uh... You ain't doing shit. Now that I think about it, help carrying any items, I will assist. I never really asked them anything about what they were doing. I just started shooting them. These people could be freaking friendlies that have turned hostile, and I wouldn't even know. No, I didn't. No, I did not. I picked the right fight, because you bitch asses can't do shit. There we go. You take all your shit, bitch. Look at you. Now you're dead. Should have kept your mouth shut. What we got out here? Oh, we got. Oh, oh. Oh, these things ain't nothing. Man, these fucking pussies.
All right, let's keep it pushing. Let's keep it going. We are almost. Uh, let's let's let's. Uh, looks like we're a little stuck here. There we go. Let's just make our path down here as smooth as possible. Cannot get into the Helium-3 site. But we can get through. What the fuck has happened? Ah! Oh, oh, okay? I mean, that will do too. Not sure how that happened, but we just kind of fell into it. All right. They haven't noticed us yet, which is good. That means we have a drop on them. You're going down. Uh, no, I'm not. No. Shut up. Shut up, bitch. You sure about that? Uh, it looks like I got you. <laughs> it is useless to attempt defeating us. Damn, my man said it is useless, bitch. Futile attempts at survival is just prolonged demise. <laughs> All right, let's catch our breath because I still hate this O2 fucking system we have in this game. Shut up. Did you fucking run? You think that's gonna save you? You think running's gonna save you? It definitely will not save you. Oh. Oh. Watch out. These bitches. Oh, okay. You want to play with shotguns, huh? All right. We'll play with shotguns. You want to play? Light your whole fucking family up like a Christmas tree. Let's let's play shotties. Yeah. Yeah, you don't like the shotguns I bring. You will be easily defeated. Ah, uh, shot the Ooh, come on now. Yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get this kill personally. This is gonna be a personal kill now. Oh, out of bullets! Haha! <laughs> We're gonna play this like a Quentin Tarantino movie. Not statistically likely to survive this encounter. He damn sure ain't. Let's go back to our handy dandy handgun. Don't run now. Don't run now. Headshot. The robot tried to tell you. You are not going to survive. Your insistence on carrying so many things is reducing our travel speed. That's fine, man. That's fine. It is increasing my ability to kick ass. All right. Look at you. Dead. Could have been a teammate. All right. We've gotten a lot of stuff. A lot of useful things. What is in here? 
grab some of that and now let's make our way to another artifact time to see the lights and before we get there let's let's mine some of these things in the same vein too much or some of these minerals take like three or four attempts just to get them all right there's two let's see if you can get a third all right we're almost there i feel like we're almost there i feel like we're almost there Get a little closer here. Let's just hit this this vein. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. Looks like we hit that vein all together. There you go. Perfect. All right, we are mining, baby. All right, now let's get to our artifact. Let us break it free. And let's go touch grass. So we got to break some more things off of it. There we go. And now... Ooh! Another artifact collected. All right, so we got the artifact out of the way. That felt good. Let's go ahead and find our way back out of here, back to our ship. I don't see us running into any more of these spacers. I think we killed all of them, so this is just gonna be a nice little trot back to our base. Now, I'm hoping there's a shortcut. I don't anticipate there being any, but usually if you're building a dungeon crawl like this, you don't want the player to have to retrace all of their steps, so you make a little shortcut somewhere that they won't notice until it's too late. Oh, silver? Oh, hell yeah. Let's mine this, baby. Oh, I could just take it. Uh oh. That, 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 that works, too. Just taking the bitch works just as much as aluminium. Do I have to mine this? I do. All right. And then this I can just grab because it's already on the ground. Okay. These systems are starting to make a little bit more sense. If it's on the ground, you can just grab it. If it's on attached to something, you're going to have to shoot it with your uh, cutter. All right. Let's see if there is actually a path out of here. Or, oh, it's a loading screen. 
Because of course, we just can't walk out willy nilly now. All right, there is our ship. Uh, and it looks like we got some little, we got some hostages, some hostiles. We could probably deal with these from afar. Don't we got to get close to them? Get away from my ship. Suspicious activity? Nah, it's just some buds, bro. We good. Double O pistol over here, goddess. Alright. Anything charging at us? Good. Alright, let's make our way back to our ship. Not seeing any threats. Get back in here. Let's go to the second level of our ship, and we gotta just dump everything. Glad to see you're back in one piece. All right, thank you. What the fuck are you doing? Do you need me for something? Yeah. Can you help, Dusty. Bitch, call me Dusty one more goddamn time. I swear to God. All right, let's give you some space suits. Y'all need to. Y'all got to start dressing the part if you're going to be rolling around me. All right, you can have that. This, this I will actually. Let me just take all of this. And what do you need me to take? I'm gonna give you guys all some. Unequip this. Let me give you a a shock trooper suit. Let's trade. Let me give you a shock trooper helmet. Let's give that to you as well. Let's go back to Lynn. Let's go ahead and, and equip that to Lynn. And then let's equip this so that when we go out, she looks like a stormtrooper. There we go. And then let's see if we just have Don't any more. Us both down with too much. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Let's go to my inventory. Let's pack out some weapons, something that you can use that's legit. Let's go ahead and give you this, so you can have a a nice a nice weapon on you. All right. Best of luck out there. Cool. So you're good. Wait, what the fuck? Oh hell no, I had all these things. <laughs> oh bro, you kidding me. Okay, so we're just gonna drop everything here. Let's go into our weapons. Let's sort it by mass. 
And at this point, if you're not favorited, I'm just going to drop you. weapons that one could ever need we're still over encumbered let's go into our suits before I drop them let's go equip some of them to all right so we know we're there that's where all our suits are all our guns are on the ground we left them on the ground you look well thank you I'm Rick James, bitch. <laughs> and then where is Sam? Hey, what the fuck is Sam and his kid? Sam Coat at the lodge. Okay. So everybody went back to the lodge. It's just me. Alright. Let's go ahead and just complete this mission and then we'll go back to the lodge and we'll grab a companion eventually. But for now, we will press on. Let's go see if we can find these other two people that are lost in space. Head on to the next neighboring location. An abandoned mine. Let's go ahead and make that jump. Jeez, another space. I'm a last bitch. happened here wild okay um let's go ahead and hail this Ship's repaired. We'll be heading out. 
All right, look at us getting recognized in space. I'll be coming to these planets. We got to start honestly. I'm gonna do a lot of these uh, outpost building and scans off camera because I know they're gonna just get in the way of the storytelling element of gameplay. But next time you see us playing, we might have some outposts already built that you can take a look at and then we'll walk you through the outpost. But we'll probably build those off camera and then show them during gameplay. Signs of life in the immediate vicinity. All right, let's go make contact. Nice little settlement, my system action here. But let's go ahead and make our way. Damn, Vasco, you, you can't sneak with you for shit. Damn, you're thumping around like a fucking elephant. Bro, you got to find a way to pace yourself, dog. You are thumping like a fuck. I'm trying to be all stealth and shit and walk up slowly. This motherfucker is shaking earth. Alright, so if it's abandoned, there shouldn't be anybody on this bitch. So I shouldn't need this gun in my hand, right? Right. Okay, we got booby traps. I like it. I like it. You gotta stay on point because they lace this place. Yeah, probably y'all ass, you fucking snitch. Helmet display. What kind of helmet we got? I like that. Excuse me. Just gonna take some of these. We don't need a jetpack. We got plenty of jetpacks on us. A workbench. We don't have enough minerals to do shit. We still gotta go build an outpost and start harvesting minerals to start really using these benches. So we'll we'll avoid that for now. Just gotta make sure we don't step on another booby trap. Uh, what is in here? There is another booby trap. There we go. Look that up. Whoever was here did not want visitors. But guess what? I'm the one who knocks. All 
right, thank you. Thank you. Ooh. What, what, what is this? Don't know what that is. Don't know if I really need it or not. Uh, but we do need that ammo shell. And we have a safe. You know? It's always safe to break a safe. Alright, that's not the digi pick we want. Neither is this. So I'm guessing this is the DJ pick we want. And we want something that's a little bit closer together. So we want to grab this. And then we want to just uh, go ahead and secure this. And let's just rotate these into place. What do we got? We got a book. Hard times. And oh, plus 20 persuasion. Nice, nice. The gift of gab. I wish these pills are real in real life. <laughs> hey, yo, I'm gonna spit some game at you. Before I do, let me take these pills. Ah, plus 20 gab. All right, we got a, we got a magazine here. And we got a credit chip. Hey, you broke ass, that's all you had? Can we, can we open this? Uh, we can't. Okay. Synthetic container. Don't need a container. All right. All right. What was this? Gray engineering outfit. We already have engineering outfits on us, so we're good. Let's get out of here. All right. Make sure we ain't got no guests. safe we can go up there or we can go our designated path you know what we can do both because we have a jetpack all right what was here? Modified drum? We already got a modified drum. We need another one. Bullets would help, though. Food. Cheese. Love it. Love it. Alright. Useful stuff. Useful stuff. What is in here? Synthetic steak. You will not be able to walk at full speed with your pack that full. <laughs> yeah, my pack is full. We got a tablet. Oh, I thought we could use it. Fuck. All right, let's go back out. How can I be a service leader? Oh my god, why are you by the fucking door like that, man? Fucking jump scare. Is there anything of, uh, we need to interact with? Just some stairs. All right. Nope. Uh, another mind. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention it. We did get a mod for improved fire. 
So, as you can see on our poor boy right here, he is currently on a little bit of a Terminator fire streak. But see how, look how nice the fire looks now compared to the default fire that came in the game. Just wanted to give you a little point shot, you know, show you guys what that looked like. Let's go ahead and uh, take a picture real quick. Let's go ahead and reduce our brightness, add our saturation for the fire to come out really nice. A little contrast, but not too much contrast. And then let's see if you got a filter that can uh, we can use. Here we go. So let's let's reduce this filter just a little bit to get the reds to pop. And there's your photo. All right, Vasco, get the fuck out the way, bruh. Damn. All up in your fucking personal space. Everything here is clear, no booby traps. Let's hopefully find Oh shit. Okay. Damn girl, I think he did. Don't come any closer. Identify yourself. I'm the mantis, bitch. Ah, oh, good. I suppose I should have guessed. It has been too long since I checked in. We were instructed to provide backup in case of unforeseen difficulties. That appears to no longer be necessary. You are the newest member, yes? Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? Yeah, bitch, I heard you were a rookie. Perhaps. I suspect Vladimir worried you might find me on the ground, instead of this one. We waste time. We should complete our mission and then we can talk. Okay, alright. Well, lead the way. We are here for the artifact. We should keep going. Alright, 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 bitch. We'll go. Shit. Boom, Always boom. worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. Yeah, man. You see? I like you. We gotta run these bitches' pockets make sure we ain't got nothing of value. Alright. Weapons engaged. Ah, oh, look at that. Doesn't even know. Let's shoot him right in the fucking jetpack. Come. Meet your death. I like her. She's 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 feisty. She's trying to kill just like we are. Um, robot control status inactive. Update friend or foe. Um, calibrate friend or foe settings. Protect current user. Here we go. Here we go. Robots with combat inhibitors removed will treat any nearby entities as threat. All friendly personnel should be evacuated before from the area before such test is initiated. Proceed with combat test? Uh, no. We got him treating us as friend. Go ahead and activate the units. Okay. We're still using fucking DOS. Okay, our, oh, so, okay, so user interface is horrible. But now the robots know that we are their friend. Let's see how this turns out. Please proceed with caution. There is heavy machinery operating in this area. 
All right, we'll do. Um, let's see if we can turn on your combat inhibitor. All right, be sure, so protect current user. All right. Good, you with me, dog. This is an active industrial site. It would be advisable to wear a hard hat. I got the mantis hat, baby. You don't need nothing else. All right, so now, from what I understand, Robots should be on our side. Yep, there he goes. There he goes. Get that bitch. That's what's up. <laughs> uh, now we over here multiplying. Alright, come on. Let's make our way down. We got our robot companion helping us. We got Vasco and the local robot AI on our team. So we got a team of four now. All right. Makes this little trick a lot easier. What is down here? I do not understand your attachments to all these objects. Literally. Yeah, I don't need y'all bitches talking shit, alright? I take what I take. My luck I don't take your head. Bitch ass haters, man. It's always a hater amongst every group. Alright, nothing down here to grab. This is just a dead end. Or is it? Is it? Is it just a dead end? Nope, nope. There is a mineral down here. We can go ahead and... Why can't I deploy my cutter? Alright, whatever. Let's, let's get out of here. Just keep it pushing. Warning. I am programmed to prioritize the completion of my tasks over the safety of nearby humans. Uh, not anymore, actually. You are supposed to prioritize my life over any other human. I don't know what you're trying to talk about. All right, so how do we get to the bottom? Artifact, but where exactly is the artifact? So it's down. Is there a mine shaft that we can go down to? All right, let's go back to down those same steps again, and let's see if there's anything that can lead or expand. Because it looks like it's just right here, but clearly it's not. 
Alright, some exploration needs to be done. Clearly. Is there a path anywhere? Nope, not a path anywhere. Alright. Oh, fuck. I dropped my uh, cutter on the ship. That's why we can't scan anything, because the cutter's on the ship. God dang it. Alright, I know there's another cutter over here when we've walked in, so we gotta go grab it. We gotta go grab that cutter. That's why I couldn't get it, because I thought the cutter was always equipped, but I'm not, I don't have it equipped anymore. I only have my six favorite guns. Which means I'm gonna have to go back, retrace our steps. Um, let's see if we can find a cutter. not where we want. Okay. So now, where did we come from? Alright. Note to self, do not unequip Please your cutter. And there's no cutter rack over here either to even grab from. So the question is, where the hell did we come from? I knew that there's a cutter around here somewhere that we walked past. There it is. No, it's a fire extinguisher. Fuck. Well, that's a magazine, though. Um, where is a cutter? You know what? Let's see. Did we put, did we, Hello, did we put a tr cutter? I am relieved. You have given up on carrying everything yourself damn the fucking shade there we go there's a cutter we'll take this allow me to assist you with carrying your items yeah but you don't have enough space on your body though fam like you're saying you want to carry shit but you see you can't carry everything let me know if I can be of assistance in the future. There we go. There's a cutter. All right. All right. Let's try this again. Now that we got the needed equipment to do this, we're going to go back. And we're going to just draw. Uh. 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 And land. All right. area. Nah, we ain't no bitch. Alright, so now we're here. Let's go up this ramp. Let's go ahead and have our weapon ready just in case. All right. 
right, let's turn here. This is gonna be fun. Ah, for who? Because it looks like I'm having all the fun. Again, we are triumphant. I mean, you're rolling with me, bitch. Hey, we always gonna win. Best not to leave anything useful behind. Okay, so when I take shit, you say shit. When I... You know what? Fuck y'all. I'm gonna do me. Alright, this elevator shaft is broken. I could just jetpack down it, but let's just do the intended path. It's a jetpack. We don't want a jetpack. We just want. What is this? Uh, some health. All right. What else we got on this corner? Nothing important. Cool. Let's keep going up the plank. Up these here boxes. down these steps. Let's go ahead and give it a little jump. Oh, we, we got contact. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Alright. Let's go ahead and take a... Yo, yo, I'm gonna need y'all to fire back, son. We getting... There we go. God damn. Alright, where, where do we got contact from? Are you prepared to die? Uh, no, bitch, I am not. That's why I have a gun. The fuck? I also wish to be prepared for any situation, but there are practical limits, no? Hey, why don't you shut the fuck up and I just saved your life? I need you fucking talking back. Nobody likes a nagger. <laughs> or what? What's gonna happen if I show my face again? Because I love me a good threat. And your threat's sounding real unfamiliar. If I show my face around here again. Boy, if you don't shut the fuck up. What we got? Ah, uh, calibrated deep. Oh, I don't need that. Just need the ammo, man. Weapons crate. Arc welder. Alright, are we getting close to this? Oh, 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 your aim is trash, dog. Let's put you down. Why would you hide in the corner? Why would you do that? Is that where you guys are all hiding in the little ambush? Some real hose shit, man. If you gonna fight, fight. Don't hide in no little corner and try to ambush people. You don't respect that. That ain't gangsta. Alright, there is our artifact. Let's go ahead and scan and break it free. And 
go ahead and grab some more of these minerals. Ah, this shit is weak. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and touch another artifact. Respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Bitch! Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision? The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. Barrett, back the I fuck up! I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. That man. What I had done. It was, yes. I appreciate that you see it that way. A very practical outlook, not one I find is shared amongst members of Constellation. May I ask what your background is? Argos. I have heard of this company. Small, reckless. Interesting. I do not have experience with this profession, but I have my own experiences with... ...risk. We both seem to be... ...unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the... ...the circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that... ...Varun zealots have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again, well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be even longer in the future. Do you understand? Uh, I don't know. You're going to have to give me something to make me forget. <laughs> you are unfamiliar. This is a surprise. Few have not heard of them. They are fanatics. Having taken the teachings of House Barun and twisted them into a belief that the galaxy must be wiped clean before the Great Serpent's return. So, in this I would say I have done the galaxy a favor. Yes, it would seem they have not yet learned how much it will cost them. But then that is their fundamental problem, is it not? An inability to see anything other than the path which they have created for themselves. Mom, this means we are in agreement. Thank you. That is good to know. I will finish here and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, as they will be expecting us. All right, okay. Uh, cool. I have my own way back. Go on without me. Okay. I'm gonna leave your ass, and when they find you again, don't talk about it. Oh. I ain't Captain Saber, ho. I'm gonna offer you one ride back, and that's it. I will meet you back at the lodge. Let's uh, let's make our way out. Now the question is: Is there a shortcut out of here? Because I don't want to have to do this whole fucking crawl over again. Fuck. All right, uh, this is gonna be a pain. But looks like we got no choice. So let's just uh, let's make our way out of here and uh, we'll go ahead and wrap up today's episode with this.
Alright, let's go outside here. I swear this fucking robot's a jump scare waiting to happen. Alright, not this direction. Golly, man, where's the way? Where the fuck is the way out? Alright, just follow the little arrows. Let's try this direction. Alright, numbers are getting smaller. But... How do we get there? It's a real question. Is there a path up here? Oh, there we go. All right, perfect. Okay. That took a little bit of an effort, but we found it. We found our way out. So, let's let's get the fuck out. Oh. I feel dumb. Just took a health pack. I can't stress this enough, if you have not installed a reshader for this game on PC, please do yourself the favor and install a reshade, because these colors, the vibrancy, the overall look, without that ugly filter, it is a lifesaver and a quality of life improvement. Alright, let's, let's go ahead and get in the cockpit. Let's go ahead and take off. Damn. 
Looks like he about to get fucked up, bruh. <laughs> Got you, bitch. We gonna board you. Just like that. Just got killed, son. <laughs> Ran into the mantis. And you did not. Did not make the cut. Ah. Uh, it's a sad way to go, player. It's a sad way to go. But. All's well that ends well. job here is done let's go ahead and what is this uh, remnants of a derelict ship to get to Alpha Centauri. So let's go ahead and set a course. And it looks like this planet is unfortunately in our way. Look at that. Look at that. Just. Just wonderful, man. This ship is going to be a genuine fan favorite. Let's go ahead and scan this planet. Nickel. Water. All right, extreme environment. Yeah, no shit. No shit. All right, let's go ahead and pull out. Let's pull back. We need to get to here. Let's go ahead and get to here. And we want to find ourselves at the lodge. Let's go ahead and land. All right, we are back at the lodge. Let's go ahead and add the artifact to the collection. Hold on, let's see. We still gotta find that last dude. No, I guess not. Let's go ahead and complete this mission. I thought we were looking for another guy, but Oh Mateo. Why? Was there a concern that I would not contribute to the mission? No, of course not. We thought you might be hurt. Oh, I then Thank you, but it was not necessary. We succeeded. Thank you for your help before. We found the artifact. Let's go ahead and add this next piece. Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty handed. 
They could be anywhere, can't they? Embedded in a rock, or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? A couple of scans from the eye, but it looks like you got there first. Shame on me for taking the scenic route, huh? I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored, they tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? Neutrality in a debate? I guess your side forfeits. Uh, how can you forfeit if you don't even take a side? You're getting rusty with your comebacks, Mateo. You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. Okay, calm down before the Riz game starts. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Yeah. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the rook to meet me back on board the station. Roger that, Vladimir. He's on his way. All right. So we'll go ahead and end today's episode at the lodge. Before we go on and meet Vladimir, we'll take that up on the next episode. So until then, Reality Comics Gaming, it's your boy Augie. As always, like and subscribe. If you have any comments, leave them down below. If you have any mods you want me to add to the gameplay to enhance Starfield for PC, let me know. And I'll go ahead and add it. And until then, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.